Hello, history scholars. This video is only an audio reading of King Afonso's letter to King John III of Portugal. It begins with an introduction. In 1490, the Portuguese converted the son of a Congo king to Christianity, and then helped him to take his father's throne. The new king, born the Zinga Mbemba, was renamed Afonso. King Afonso soon realized that his relationship with Portugal had extremely negative consequences, as can be seen from his letter to King John III of Portugal in 1525. In this letter, the King of Congo appeals to the King of Portugal to end the slave trade. So, two images. One is a Congolese brass and wood crucifix dating from the 1500s, and it blends Christian and traditional African symbols on it. And then this is a painting of King John III of Portugal. And here is the letter by King Afonso to King John III. It reads, Sir, your Highness of Portugal should know how our kingdom is being lost in so many ways. <clears throat> this is caused by the excessive freedom given by your officials to the men and merchants who are allowed to come to this kingdom to set up with shops, uh, to set up shops with goods and many things which have been prohibited by us. Many of our vassals whom we've had in obedience do not comply. So vassals are going to be people living in the kingdom of Congo um, and that have been obedient to King Afonso, but because of the Portuguese influence, they are not complying, they are not doing you click on this it gives you a definition the people in Congo some of them are not complying with what King Afonso wants them to do because they have the things in greater abundance than we ourselves it was with these things that we had them content and subjected under our jurisdiction. So it is doing a great harm not only to the service of God, but to the security and peace of our kingdoms and state as well. Second paragraph. And we cannot reckon how great the damage is since the mentioned merchants are taking every day our natives, sons of the land, and the sons of our noblemen, and vassals and our relatives. The thieves and men of bad conscience grab them, wishing to have the things and wares of this kingdom which they are ambitious of. They grab them, grab them, and get them to be sold. And so... And so great, sir, is the corruption and licentiousness that our country is being completely depopulated. So populated meaning that you have people in your population and D means to decrease. So they are taking, uh, the Portuguese are taking people out of the country, out of the kingdom to be slaves. And your highness should not agree with this, nor accept it, as in your service. And to avoid it, we need from those, your kingdoms, no more than some priests and a few people to teach in schools, and no other goods except wine and flour for the holy sacrament. So many of them have been converted to Christianity, and all they want are some priests to help them um, understand religion, and a few people to teach them um, how to be educated in schools. That is why we beg of your highness to help and assist us in this matter, commanding your factors that they should not send here either merchants or wares, because it is our will that in these kingdoms there should not be any trade of slaves nor outlet for them. Concerning what is referred to above, again, we beg of your highness to agree with it, otherwise we cannot remedy such an obvious damage. So you are not answering these questions. Remember that you are answering the questions that are uh, linked in the assignment, and it's called a source analysis. I hope the reading helped, guys. Bye!